What's up guys, this is TechnoCube and you are watching Mobile Computing Fundamentals. Well, in the previous session you had seen uh, the beginning of wireless network, where we had seen the history of wireless network, right? In this session you're going to understand evolution of wireless data. So uh, I'll give you a tabular structure of first, gen first generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation and the later upcoming generation, okay? So what kind of connection they are possessing, what kind of technology they are possessing and mm -hmm. what kind of data they are having, okay? So let's get started and we'll see uh, what is the first generation. So your first generation mobile communication is, it is based on, it is based on analog technology. It is on analog uh, technology technology and the best example that we had seen is your AMPS that is your advanced advanced mobile phone service okay this is the example and this for uh, this advanced mobile phone service it is based on the technology or it uses something called as FDMA that is frequency division multiple access for modulation purposes okay so I will write here frequency division for multiple multiple access which is specifically used for modulation purpose okay so this is it and at first generation it is on analog technology it is it is having the example as AMPS and it uses FDMA uh, for modulation purpose now have you ever seen the AMPS mobile it looks something like this so this is your AMPS so this is advanced mobile phone system uh, it is uh, exist in 1980 or somewhere in between okay so this is the this is an example of AMPS phone okay so now uh, we get into the second generation mobile uh, or the second generation communication so I have a, a connection technology and data rate so the first uh, connection which second generation you know comes up is 2G connection okay and the and the technology which they used Earlier it is GSM technology, which is global system for mobile communication. I'll give you the abbreviations in the in the in the shortcomings. So the data rate it possesses is 10 kbps. Okay, so it is specifically for the voice data rates we had used this 2G connection just to you know contact with uh, each other and not for uh, the uh, exchanging information, but rather than we are using for just to uh, connect with each other like voice data rate, right? And the next year or the next later years, it comes as 2G upgraded with the technology as CDMA, which is code division multiple access. See, we have different multiple access come and exist in a data link layer, which is like TDMA, FDMA, CDMA, WDMA, and uh, and many more. Okay, or maybe it is a kind of hybrid multiple access, which we combine two multiple access to make a hybrid one. Okay, so it uses a code division multiple access where we give a specific a code to the users so they so that they can communicate with it with each other, and it is having the same data rate, but uh, the but but the same rate data data rate is because of you know uh, we are solving something called as error detection and error correction problem, or more precisely, if I say channel coding and the source coding, we have removed that kind of thing or reduced that kind of thing from the channel. Uh, big because of this technology CDMA okay which is specifically used for that reason uh, in the later session it comes as an upgraded model as 2.5 G and it is uses GPRS which is global packet radio service which gives you around approximately it gives you I'll write 50 kbps okay and it is specifically used for internet connection okay there we are sending voice plus you know data for making exchanging information so we have 2.5 generation and then it comes as as a more upgraded wor version 2.5 G uh, as edge technology edge is enhanced data for GSM evolution and it gives you uh, around 200 kbps which is the speed okay so these are some of the data rates and if you don't uh, you know you know if you don't know about these connection that you had then you had definitely had seen it right so you had seen like uh, in the mobile uh, in the mobile uh, device uh, very near to that network signal you had that that, that, that has been written like e e plus h h plus right now it is uh, volt t or lte plus something like that i'll give you i'll give you the diagram here see something like this see we have uh, we have earlier version we have g which is specifically for gsm or gprs then we comes up 
with E or maybe E plus, then we come with 3G and then we come with WCDMA, that is this one, H, H plus, and then we are having 4G or maybe volt E, something like that. Right? You had seen these kind of, you know, symbols in your, very near to that of your network signal and then it gives you the data rate like H plus and H and E, E plus plus, E plus, like that, okay? So you definitely had seen it, okay? Now I'll write the definition, uh, not definition, but I'll just abbreviate it. So it is a global uh, global system for mobile communication. Okay, so this is mobile communication. Then we comes up with CDMA, which stands for Code Division Multiple Multiple Access. And then I'll precisely write as GPRS, which is Global Packet for radio service i'm very bad at writing but that's okay then we have edge connection that is enhanced that is enhanced data for gsm evolution okay so this is your edge connection let's get into the 3g connection now 3g connection is having somehow it is it is also having the same varieties like it comes with 3g first of all, for initially at the time so it comes with 3G connection and the technology which it uses is WCDMA which you had seen in many of the cases you know you, you change the network from like uh, like you go from three uh, like a CDMA then you go for WCDMA like that you change your preferred network right in the mobile settings and the network settings you had you had done that you had done that so many times just to get a good strength on the network so it gives you a data rate of 384 kbps right and then we comes up with upgradation on 3G. That 3G it, it uses CDMA 2000, which is an upgraded model of a, a CDMA uh, for reduction in the channel coding and the uh, in the source coding for better error correction and error direct detection. I'll tell you about these technology in the later sessions, but right now just you know you, you jot it down, you put it somewhere so that you can understand what are the varied ways of 3G and 3G connections. It also gives you the same data rates. 384 kbps but higher than that of 2g connections then we have 3. Point, then we have 3.5 g which uses hsdpa which is high speed data uh, or the download downlink uh, packet and slash uh, hsupa which is high speed uplink packet access okay which gives you a very high speed connection which is 5 under 5, five to 30 mbps which is really very very nice Right, and we have 3.5G upgraded uh, as with Evdu, which is which is kind of evolution data optimized, which gives you the same speed but with higher redundancy. Okay, so these are some of the uh, some of the uh, what do you what do you call uh, the technology and the data rates. Now I'll give you uh, the abbreviations on WCDMA, which stands for wideband wideband cdma then we have umts umts stands for universal mobile telecommunication tele telecommunication standard okay which are the standards and we have cdma you already know about it i will write hsdpa slash hsupa stands for high speed downlink packet oh come on and I'll write the uplink packet okay for the UPA uplink packet so this is it next is we have a do which is having a revision on one two three like that so it is an evolution for sorry evolution data optimized okay so this is your 3g connection and then we come up with a 4g connection 4g is having you know the connection that you are using right now i mean for the country india or like that the the neighborhood countries but if you go with the with the us countries or like those continents they are using the high upgraded model of volt e or the lte plus okay so they are using 5g or they are having a research on 6g connections so we have here 4g and then technology which it uses is long term evaluation that is LTE which you all are using and you all are aware about it. And this is 100 to 
200 mbps which is really very very you know high speed connection then we have an upgraded version of 4g which is uses a y max which is worldwide interoperability for microwave access which is good right which is uses a line of sight communication somehow and but they have a backbone network which uses non line of sight communication and that's why the problem exists in that backbone network uh, which is having a multipath propagation and there is a delay problem there is inter symbol interference inter curry interference and there is co-channel interference these kind of problem exist in ymax connection that's why the ymax arena is a kind of research area right now for the 4g connection you don't have to worry about it but you just remember that we have these kind of technologies and these kind of data rates okay so this is uh, I'll, I'll, I'll make an abbreviation on that this is long term evolution right now it is having an, a revision lte plus then we have y max here y max is world wide interoperability can you please uh, I'm, I'm bagging for my spelling mistake but that's okay i don't care actually <laughs> uh, microwave uh, microwave access okay so this is y max now the thing is uh, I'll give you what kind of you know these connections are uh, used for so the first uh, first uh, first generation communication is used specifically for you know making a commercialization cellular net, cellular network but the second generation communication uses uh, it is specifically used for voice plus data why voice plus data services why we why we had used it because you can see here 10 kbps 10 kbps it is specifically used for telephonic communication that is voice but we, then we come up with GPRS and edge communication, then we use data services for the internet connection, right? Then we have 3G connection specifically used in the, in the form of voice data. And then also it is having a video call connection. So you can use your VOIP connections for voice over telephony. You can make a, you know, WhatsApp communication, Facebook com communication like in video call, right? Get done so many times. So instant messaging is also a kind of services which uses third generation. Then, uh, then we come up with the 4G connection, which is specifically for online gaming. You see, then also it is used for streaming connections, and then also we have something called as HD TV, that is high definition television. So these are, you know, the these are the generations which uses the technology and the data aids. I hope you like it. You can remember these things you can write in the exams or you can have you know a kind of good interactive sessions with your students or with uh, colleagues so these are uh, these are the generations and these are the technology that they have used right thank you so much for listening to me i hope you like it and if you haven't subscribed my channel i insist you to please subscribe it thank you so much